Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see the practical implementation of the data types, how we can insert the documents along with its data types. Let's try to see. Here I am having a show collection. We are having only one collection that is nothing but a products collection. Let's try to see that whether we are having there are nothing, no products are available here. So let's try to create a product using by using almost all the data types. Here I will be using db dot products dot set one. Here I will be doing b dot products dot set one. First one, what I will be inserting the title know that this is of type text data there is nothing but string data the next one what i will try to do is the price price i can give 12 now this one is an floating point so by default if you make so it will take the floating point value number floating point value try to take it Why? because as this one is javascript now mongo created using if you provide number so only it will take the now let's try to have another value that is nothing but what i can say is available okay. is available then boolean value now if i want to give very large number quantity want to very give large number so if you try to provide this much long number let's try to see so take into 32 or int try to see and i can also provide an embed document there is nothing but an object here i can give a status and here i can ha have something like an array right so all the things right now afterwards after after the have date also like uh, I can use the new date means it will give the is and we can also have another type something like started started at dated at at I can use timestamp already seen it. so this is these are the different types so if you want you can also provide null data type and all so these are all the different data types which now if I click on this one automatically this is created if i try to see that products dot find here you will be able to see title which is of type product and price which is per teacher and is available it's a billion quantity so here it has been truncated why because so it has been extended the integer 32 and integer 6 value so 700 has been and so this is very much long number so just i told i have explained to you and details you have this status is active and use this in a and details is of type object and reviewed it this is a date format so we will be format iso date and this total is the year separated by the t with the time total time with along with the time zone and here is the timestamp so with the ordinal format we will be able to see it so that when we are trying to use the uh, create a timestamp using uh, trying to create that many we are trying to add so many documents at a time using that many then also this timestamp will be different for you. okay so it will take the ordinal ordinal value try to show you so this is how the data types will be now if i try to see let's try to see the stats of this db okay so db means nothing but the products db if we try to see the stats of this one Total collections we are having is the one. Yes, that is the products collections. Total collection we have. And if you try to see the total objects we are having is the one object. One object means nothing but this object. Right? One object. And the average object size is about 2 naught. And the data size is 2. The storage size total is this. So, like this, you will be able to see the stats of this. Now, for example, let's say that I will insert db.products.com. 
I will insert again insert one and here I will try to give something like quantity or price. I price of here I create here. Now if I try to see the stats again, so what is this stats thing? So previously if we try to see the state the average object size is 201. So immediately it was decreased to the 119. Why? Because out of these two objects, one which is having only the price value and also that uh, having total this one so average uh, average value it has taken object size for example let's try to remove that db dot products dot i am trying to remove i have deleted now let's try to see the stats of this now we don't have any objects we have one collection so average object size is also zero data size is now what i will try to do so i will try to insert the one thing so price 12. so if i try to see here db stats now the average object size is 37 so I'll be able to see that data size is 37. now what i can do is so average object size 37 this is the time it is trying to take the size now what i will try to do is 12 is i already told you right this is a 32 bit format and here this total things it taking 32 plus 37 it is taking average objects now what i will try to do is here i will try to do number in i will convert it into number in so we have uh, we according to the programming language which are your according to the db drivers whatever the mongo db drivers you will having so you will be having those all the methods you will be here this is javascript environment i am using this now if i try to create let's try to delete if i try to check stats now this time if you try to see here this is 33 values the object size has been decreased to 33 previously the same value without number int if i try to use it was about 37 but when i use this number int here immediately the size has been decreased that means the data size when you are trying to use this data size so here when you are trying to use uh, directly 12 so it is taking the floating point value and when you convert it into number int took the integer 32 that is the reason i have told you so for example if you want to use the uh, 64 bit part that means i can repeat all these things try to add again so of this one i will try to use long so previously it was 37 when i use number int it was 33 the size and now if i try to use the same stats now this time it was again increased to 37 so that means the things which has used the floating that the number 64 value the same thing it has used right now without using the number long so it was using so the, uh, what i was trying to explain you is the memory size how much it is taking so okay, the data types which you are trying to use that matters the most okay so if you want you can also use the decimal value also number decimals so for highest precision we will be this decimal value so i can use this decimal value and if i try to use that now it has been increased to 41 so like this you can use it okay how the data types also affects the object so these are how the data types will be having so depending on the drivers what are the drivers you are using so as this one is the mongo deep mongo shell which is javascript environment. so node.js has a mongo's db so like this php has another so dotnet has another the drivers has their own timestamps these all things you know, how you want it will provide it without any problem so those those it and you can use the all data types timestamp and all you can insert number long number into number decimal like this the methods will be provided so that you can use it so that we can increase the data uh, size the size of the document why i am trying to explain you is the data types also matters for the size of the object early we will be using this so the times not a matters want the precision values you can use it like this number in number or otherwise we can we can leave it like that you can use it not a problem those uh, decimal size if you want a precision decimal or otherwise two or three decimals is not a problem means so you can use normally everything works fine this is how the data types work hope you understood about the practical types in the document if you have any doubts or any size please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you